Eric Repair is one of the classiest chefs to hit the culinary scene in recent memory. Born in Antibes, France, Repair developed a passion for cooking at a young age and became an internationally renowned chef while he was still in his 20s. Repair also hosts the PBS show Avec Eric, frequently judges on Top Chef, and has authored several books. The chef is also known for his enduring friendship with Anthony Bourdain. It was Repair who discovered Bourdain in his hotel room after he ended his own life on June 8, 2018. The two had been friends for years, with Repair making frequent appearances on Bourdain's shows No Reservations and Parts Unknown. We're not going to be good at this. This is going to be like I Love Lucy. More like a Laurel and Hardy. Casual fans of Bourdain's work may be curious about Repair's backstory and their friendship. Here are a few things you may not know about Chef Eric Repair. Early Days Repair's childhood was a troubled one. His parents divorced when he was young, and his father, with whom Repair was close, died when he was 11. His stepfather was a cruel man who mistreated Repair. With Repair's encouragement, his mother eventually kicked his stepfather out of the house. Repair kept quiet about his childhood for many years, keeping the details of it even from his close friends until he published his memoir, 32 Yokes, From My Mother's Table to Working the Line, in 2016. After reading his friend's book, Bourdain told the New York Times, I knew it wasn't a happy childhood, but I had no idea how dark. You just don't see evidence of that darkness. Repair left home to attend a culinary boarding school at the age of 15 and never looked back. He told Inc. It was emotionally difficult, but the excitement of going to culinary school, being accepted in the program, and being able to cook, which was my passion already at the time, was so strong. Mother knows best. One of Repair's earliest cooking role models was his mother, who went the extra mile to give her family memorable meals and to make the experience feel special. Repair told Esquire she would wake up at 5 in the morning to make a great breakfast, but that's just the start, saying, She also prepared lunch and dinner and appetizer, main course, cheese, dessert on a different tablecloth, a different china platter, different flower arrangements and candles at night. I thought every kid in the world was eating like me, but it wasn't the case. A former angry chef. Repair publicly denounces chefs like Gordon Ramsay, who are notorious for shouting at people. Repair scolded Ramsay for his antics in a now deleted tweet, writing, Nothing personal against Gordon Ramsay, but he is a poor inspiration for professional chefs in his shows. Ultimately, I believe in the goodness of Gordon, but he is very wrong. While Repair typically displays a calm demeanor these days, there was a time when he too had a quick temper. The chef told Fudayan that when he was younger, he was more prone to acting out of anger. One day I realized that when I was in a bad mood, people around me were not happy either. It is not possible to be angry and happy at the same time, and happiness is never born from anger. Buddhism changed his life. Repair grew up in a Christian home knowing very little about Buddhism until reading a book about Tibet in 1989, which led him to reading a book by the Dalai Lama. Repair told Buddhist magazine Tricycle that what he learned was a revelation. The chef has since applied Buddhist teachings to his life as well as to his kitchen, telling the magazine, It gives me respect for the lives of the products that we are using, and I try to create an environment that is as peaceful as I can and to promote Buddhist principles of tolerance and compassion. Success on his terms Unlike many famous chefs who have a string of restaurants, Repair is content with having just one, the acclaimed Le Bernardine in New York City. He told Esquire, Maybe other chefs would be bored to death in my situation. I would be stressed to death in their situation. But every day I walk in Central Park, I see my family, I see my team. It makes me happy. I don't want to be in an airport and flying to one place or another. Repair's personal idea of success is simple. He just wants to be happy. He told Inc., I think about a level of contentment that brings balance. While Repair has dedicated quite a bit of his life to his career, he said he makes sure not to spend too much time working. The chef also pays his success forward by giving back to the community. You cannot be successful and look at people around you that are in need and not share. That doesn't make sense. Best Friends Repair's friendship with Anthony Bourdain was one of the most notable in the industry. The cooking world could be cutthroat and competitive, but Repair and Bourdain managed to strike up a friendship based on mutual respect and trust. Repair explained his rapport with Bourdain on the official Parts Unknown blog. It's very simple. We're very good friends. We laugh and it's comfortable because we can be calm, and sometimes we don't speak at all and we'll be happy together. I think he likes that a lot. Repair added that Bourdain liked to push his limits, especially as Repair is a notoriously relaxed person. I am there to make him, Bourdain, look good, so he makes me suffer eating things I am uncomfortable with. No matter what, I really understand the spirit of his show. It is his show. He's the hero of the show. 
Bourdain's untimely death at the age of 61 had a profound impact on repair. He wrote on Facebook, Anthony was my best friend. He was an exceptional human being, so inspiring and generous. One of the great storytellers of our time who connected with so many. I pray he is at peace from the bottom of my heart. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255.